Hey everybody, okay, we are empty. Uh, once again, today is uh, Thursday, May 17th, 2018. The local time is 1121. Temperature here is. Uh, we're in, in Sheboygan, tell you that. Temperature here is uh, 64 degrees. Alright, we are empty, and so we better get out of here. Baby Blue and I are on our way to the yard to drop off the paperwork and uh, we're on our way to HP Hood in Winchester, Virginia to pick up a load there at 3 p.m. bound for Sam's Club in Toma, Wisconsin. Delivery is at 3 p.m. Saturday I think and then picking up Sunday back here for probably Tuesday all right let's go close our doors and uh, slide our tandems backwards I mean forward stay easy man Load is 34 degrees. That locks up the brakes and releases the pins. There we go. Alright, uh, let me take my jacket and my safety vest on and I'll be right back. Peace. Alright, here we go. By the way, the local time here is 11.26. Winchester, Virginia is 100 and 104 miles by way of uh, Frederick, Maryland. We got to stop at the yard and uh, drop off the paperwork and head out to our pickup.
myself on the drive line. Yeah, right, here we go. Wow, the trees over here are full bloom. Very nice. You know what, it's, it's 11.30, I, uh, I don't know, I'm going to ask the boss if I can skip going to the yard because I don't want to be late. HB Hood is one of those places where if you're late, it's, well let's put it this way, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't set well with them when you're late. Okay, uh, the topic for today is about uh, leasing the car. Um, over ma overall majority uh, responses from you guys is don't do it, don't do it. And uh, I think you guys are right. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off for a while. I'm definitely gonna wait until. I'm, I'm definitely going to wait until uh, the Venza is paid off. The Venza has got about 40,000 miles on it. And three years old. The Toyota Sequoia. I don't know, it's got a hundred and something. Can't remember. It's an 04. You know, the insurance on the Sequoia is really, really expensive. And I told my wife, I said, why don't we just, because it's full coverage right now, right? It's got a full coverage insure, insurance on it. But I told my wife, I said, why not just, you know, do the liability thing? And uh, it's only $20 difference. $20 difference a month. So my wife they said, no, you know what, just leave it. <laughs> so, it's amazing that uh, newer cars can be cheaper in insurance than older uh, models because of the parts thing. Yeah, either way, I, I'm not doing it. Not that for the next 16 months anyway we're gonna wait we're gonna wait if I had my way I would keep the Sequoia and just as your suggestion I don't know put a hundred dollars a month into an escrow a maintenance escrow or Maybe two hundred dollars a month escrow for the Sequoia. The Sequoia is all paid off. The uh, Tacoma, however, or the Venza, uh, we owe sixteen thousand on it. So sixteen more months, because my wife has been paying a thousand dollars every month to it. I think they're. The regular payment is somewhere around $700, but she chooses to pay 1000 a month. So, 
Yep. According to my boss, he too liked the Toyota Tacoma, but in his opinion the Tacomas are overpriced. And so you know what he did? He bought a Ford F-150, zero financing, and I think he's paying $450 a month. Uh, but he did make a $5,000 down payment on it though. You know, it's amazing to me that cars are all... Cars are almost half of the cost of your house. Sheesh, when did cars become so expensive? The Tacoma is $42,000. But that's the limited one. For example, like the Toyota... What is it? The Toyota Sequoia and the Toyota uh, Land Cruiser. They're up to about $60,000. It is just crazy. As far as American made vehicle, you know, Toyota or what is it, 90% made in America. It, it's I think except for the engine, the en I think the engine is the only thing that's made in Japan. Well, it's a family tradition that started with my dad. We've always liked Toyotas, so... And I have I had uh, really good results with Toyotas. I just don't see the need to change personal preference, I suppose. But according to my boss, uh, he too did like the t uh, Toyota Tacoma. But when he looked at the Ford F-150 with the zero financing. Uh, which he did didn't buy. He was impressed. He he really does like the Ford F-150 now. But I think the Ford F-150 that he has is a V6. If I had my way, I'd, I'd keep the Toyota Sequoia and uh, just maintain it, uh, take it to a body shop, but then again, for the amount of money that you spend for restoring the vehicle, you could buy a brand new one for probably less money or, you know, just about the same. So we got uh, 1.3 miles to our next exit, which is exit 16A, Columbia Town Center.
By the way, the the lease the lease payment for a Toyota Tacoma is uh, believe it or not, it's only two ninety nine. I thought it'd be a little bit more expensive, but no. We'll see you guys a little later. As always, thank you very much for watching. And thank you for the comments and uh, the feedback on the lease purchase or leasing a car or not to lease. <laughs> I've learned from so much of you, uh, from you guys, so thank you. All right, later. Peace. Okay, we are approaching Interstate uh, 70, we're currently on 29 North. We're gonna get the, take this 70 West towards Frederick. Local time here is 11.49. That's it. I'm pretty sure that the uh, way station here will be open. We'll catch you guys later. All right, we're coming up to the uh, way station here in Maryland, and they are open. I wonder why Prime is on the left lane. Oh, he got re he got in lane real quick. Fortunately, the Peterbilt 
on his right let him in all right hopefully we get the bypass here yeah we got the bypass Flash, 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 go, go, go. later hey everybody greetings from uh, Frederick Maryland all right we're gonna take this 270 south and we're gonna head to the yard local time here is 1221 Temperature here according to baby blue is 66 degrees by the way her uh, current mileage is 579586 yeah 66 degrees here Google confirms it
It must have had some really hard rain here. That river back there was quite high. We'll catch you guys later. This is not gonna take long. I'm just gonna drop off the paperwork and uh, head out. Peace. They got two brand new trailers here R72 and R70. I don't know what that R stands for. We're gonna leave our paperwork Smells lemony in there I don't think these trailers have been loaded yet or used. Oh, we gotta go, we gotta go. I don't know, no idea what I'm doing. been here for four minutes. See that truck right there? That's truck 111. That's the owner-operator uh, version. There's only one owner-operator in this company.
from what I understand, the driver is a very wealthy person. And uh, he just does it for fun. Imagine that. that river.
Please don't tell. We'll catch you guys later. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Trying to be good here. Have a good and godly day, everyone. Peace.